groups of robots can carry out tasks more efficiently than a single robot, for example, or more robustly. The, the trick to making these things work together is really to combine uh, sort of different knowledge domains. And those, the main knowledge domains involved are control theory, so how should the robots move themselves to get to where they should go? Then communication, so what information should they share with one another to, to make that decision about where to go? And then finally, computation, intelligence. Once they've gone there and taken measurements, how can they share their measurements and come to some conclusion uh, about the state of the environment or what to do next? We're thinking about, for example, using systems like this for search and rescue. So, for example, after there's an earthquake, we can send in a group of autonomous helicopters. They can survey the damage from, from, a, from a remote perspective. And then we can also think of sending in teams of ground robots to assess the damage in detail. And actually, we're working currently on things as detailed as locating survivors, determining with some precision where the survivors are, and eventually, farther in the future, we want to think about actually rescuing people. The College of Engineering is really kind of a rising star in the world of engineering research. There's a collective effort among the faculty to produce high-quality research. I think it's conscious. I think people think, we're doing something here. We're gonna, we're gonna bring the college to the next level as far as research quality, research impact.